Good morning. What is today? Today is the 27th of September 2017. Um, uh, I sent out an email. We're having uh, some food, a little lunch. You can you can meet one of my best friends ever, uh, Maria Hanke. She's the Associate Dean uh, for Education. So she runs all of our school, all of the education programs, and she is phenomenal. Anyways, there's some good food in Gerontology 224. That'll be at 1 o'clock today. All right. So, um... Uh, I think you guys got a good feel of what it means uh, to have deadlines, okay? So CT1's deadline came in, and um, we have 150 students in the class, so we really can't handle excuses. You just have to calendar everything. By the way, right here, it's all calendared for you, okay? So you just make sure that you are on the ball in terms of what's coming up. Now, we just did CT1, and look, right around the corner, CT2, okay? Right, October 23rd. That happens really quickly, so be prepared. And in 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 that theme, what we want to do is we're going to go over here, and this is my, what my page looks like. So I apologize. Okay, we're going to come into the course readings. Okay, and so we had um, a you know a, a great discussion because of the emotional link that cancer has to everybody, including myself, and Julia. <clears throat> and um, so now we're moving on to diabetes, heart disease, and then we'll get into mental health and we'll include Alzheimer's disease. And this is over the next three weeks. And the reason I'm talking about these guys um, being connected is that is exactly what CT2 is all about. Okay, so if we click on here and we go past CT2, we see um, CT2 is we want you to make a connection between diabetes vascular disease which causes atherosclerosis and Alzheimer's disease all right pretty straightforward okay uh, one difference is we, we are demanding two references in your analysis and you cite them and list them as references only two all right answer these questions all right this is really straightforward in terms of our rubric of grading you if you don't address these issues and this then it's points off, points off, points off, okay? So, yeah, two points, two points, two points, two points, two points, two points that's 10. <laughs> okay, so pretty easy stuff, all righty? So now we're gonna go back to um, uh, our, our course, okay? I do want to remind you that this tutorial up here, how to get an A in Jero 200, okay? It's still there, you can still look at it, all right? So if you click on that right here, um, it talks all about it right here, okay? All right, and this is what you need to do, all right? Um, I also have it in, in the announcements, all right? Deadlines, 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 okay. All right, now, we're gonna go back down in here and watch my very first uh, um, video that is in the announcements page. Again, you can watch any of the videos that I have done by scrolling down all the way to the very beginning, okay? Um, here, here it is again, how to get an A in Jero 200, all right? So that's all you need to do. In fact, I guess I'll put that video back in there as well. All right, next, course readings. Okay, so we're going back to this week, going to diabetes, okay? Uh, what we have in this country is a huge problem, okay? And it's called metabolic syndrome. And uh, the reason they call that is um, the way we handle the fuel that comes in to our bodies is called metabolism, okay? And people with diabetes, um, lose the ability to handle the sugar that comes into their bloodstream, okay, the glucose. And um, while not an absolute, okay, the biggest risk factor is, is morbid obesity, all right? And what happens is your fat cells, okay, um, basically become inflammatory and they release all kinds of these chemicals, these messengers, that cause your uh, muscle cells, fat cells, liver cells, to become insensitive to the action of insulin. So the blood glucose just rises and rises and rises, okay? You see it in the urine, you see it in the blood, and it has a disastrous effect, okay? Um, the same messengers that are being just spewed out by, um, by the fat cells put you at risk for cardiovascular disease, they put you at risk for dementia, we'll talk about that. These things are called cytokines, inflammatory, and they put you at risk for cancer, okay? So all the epidemiology is out there. All right, so, Again, what you need to do is, is, is follow my directions right here, all right? You see these arrows pointing to what you need to do, okay? You click on this, all right? And it takes you to the website, and here it is. Here's the answers to your questions. What is diabetes, okay? Boom, all right? Um, um, uh, how about diabetic kidney disease? I tell you right now that a bunch of the questions in the quiz and on the exam are all about diabetic kidney disease because people 
um, have their kidneys severely damaged. Um, oftentimes they lose their kidneys and then uh, what they need to do is uh, go on dialysis or have a kidney transplant or they die because of it, okay? Watch these videos. A lot of the questions are derived from these videos, okay? Uh, this is a particularly good video right here. All right, so it's pretty straightforward stuff, guys. Um, and I think you've got, you know the drill right now. Do, do realize that um, no two quizzes are the same. So, um, so getting the answers from a friend, well, that'll just give you an F in the quiz, okay? Alrighty, so um, I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to end. Just realize this is, a, this is a, a number one leading cause of disability in our country, okay? Because the diabetes leads to cancer. The diabetes leads to, to vascular disease that causes heart attacks and stroke. Okay. Diabetes leads to kidney disease, which results in loss of kidneys, and it's a big, 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 huge thing. And this is why it's important for you guys to look into this. I'm sure you have diabetes in, in many of your families. You have friends with diabetes, and uh, in terms of uh, politically what's going on, it's, it's a huge personal drain on your finances because of the health care costs. Okay. And there's so many costs that are not covered. Um, especially down the line when people get older, okay, and we're, we're looking at uh, assisted living when you have to have special care for a diabetic, um, and uh, and then your tax dollars, okay. Obviously, uh, it's it's hugely on the agenda. You can see what's going on in Washington D.C. trying to figure out how to deal with our healthcare system. All right, so uh, I think I'm going to end right there, and we'll see you guys next time.